Hey, non-techies, this is Jess from Non-Techie Entrepreneur. Today, we will be going over getting started with Square and navigating the dashboard. All links and chapters will be listed in the description below so that you are able to get started right along with this video. If you, at any time you have questions, drop it in the comments below and I will answer them there. Square is a range of products that is targeted towards small business owners. You can run a large size business off of the Square Suite, but it allows more access to the things that big box companies have, such as POS, registers, payroll, payments, all of that is included into the Square Suite. So first you will need to go to the Square app which the link is in the description, and you will click to sign up. For this one, I have the free card reader here where you're able to get a free reader to get started with your business. Once you click the get started, it'll take you to the create your account. So first you're going to use a email address, then create a password, and put your location in. This would also toggle your language settings. So I'm gonna click on the go. This one, will, we're gonna do a brick and mortar. Uh, at events is something like pop-ups, online ordering page, and through sent invoices. How we take payments, so we have a mobile phone, a computer, and uh, a tablet. So if you have a Square Register, which is the newest product, you can click there. If you're using the iPad stand, then you can click this habit computer, mobile phone. And once you go through the steps, you can register that POS. So I click continue and it will ask you, what can they help you manage? To create an item category, that is something we're going to need if we are putting in items or services into our store. If you have employees that you would like to pay or just track time with, you can click manage employees. Payroll, you can do payroll through Square. Set up gift cards. Gift cards can be e-gift cards or physical gift cards. The e-gift cards do not have a cost to use. The physical gift cards, you do have to purchase the gift cards to be sent to your business location. Set up marketing campaigns. There are some free marketing aspects within Square. And then there are some that are paid. You will need to review which ones that you will like to do. Like the email marketing is a paid Square product. Uh, the loyalty program is a pay square product. Uh, financing is something that you can do and manage appointments is free. So we'll click continue once you select those options. During setup, based on your business type, Square will recommend different products for you. Since this was a food and drink business, they are going to set up my restaurant because this is a food and drink business. So I'll be able to create menus at a point of sale, start selling. And it's the standard 2.6 plus 10 cent for the swipe, tap, or the inserts. There is a Restaurants Plus, which is a more, for more table service type businesses. If you're running something like a cafe, a coffee shop, a small catering business, you are able to run on the free square. If you're looking for something to run your entire restaurant and you have three to four POSs, you have 20 tables, you have tables inside, you have tables outside, you have a, a large scale of employees, then I would recommend the Restaurants Plus. You can get started for free. And if you would like to update your plan to the plus, then you can do that within Square. So the next step is to set up your menu, which will display on the point of sale. And that will take you to the menus portion of Square. 
So if you're already set up on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, you can import menu. You can build it manually or upload a current menu and they will build it for you. So that is the steps of creating your business. Depending on the type of business you have, you will have different options when you get to this point. If you are doing a service-based business, you will have the invoice and their appointments and it will take you through to add in those services. This is a food and drink business. So that is why we have been set to now start creating our menu. So starting from the dashboard, when you log in, this is what you will see every time. Up above, we have the menu, which you can collapse on the side, the square logo in the middle, search, this is the virtual dashboard, so where, the virtual terminal, so where you can process payments straight from your desktop without having to use a card reader. Then this icon here gives you your messages so that customers can talk to you. They can reply to your emails, they can reply to your texts as you send for their orders or marketing. Here are where your notifications will live. There will be a little dot that tells you that you have a notification. This is the help portion and where your name is where you will find the settings for this business. So as I'm logged in, I am the owner of this business. I have my account settings, seller community, order a reader, get free processing, tour your dashboard and sign out. To the left is where all of the Square products live. So we have our quick access, which if you click edit, you can update which products you want in this main menu. So if I wanted to have online checkout, gift cards, and balance as a quick access, I could have them here and I can remove the items that I don't want to see right up top. And it will update here. Then below this line, we have all products. So they're categorized as these main items and orders, reporting, staff, e-commerce, banking, customers, payments, POS system settings. Each one has a sub menu for items and orders. You have your orders, your menus, and your items. Reporting gives you your reports and transactions. Staff gives you team shifts and payroll. E-commerce gives you online, online sales channels. Banking gives you balance and loan. Customers give you marketing, loyalty, customers, appointments, contracts. Payments gives you gift cards, invoices, online checkout, virtual terminal, risk manager, subscriptions. POS systems gives you square for restaurants, square for retail, and square appointments. Settings gives you account and settings, devices, and app integrations. Then here at the bottom, you see more from Square, which will open up the window to show you the grouping of their offerings. So under customers, we have appointments, customers, marketing, contracts, loyalty, items and orders, e-commerce. You get to see the menu in a larger scale broken down. Then we'll use our quick access to come back home. And in the middle is where you will find your welcome, which will give you items to complete with videos and some guides to complete these items that are needed to make your square as functional as it can. Underneath that, you have a glance at today. So we have your gross sales, transactions, payment types, top items by sales, top categories by sales. Then you have a section for recommended products and then popular topics from the seller community. To your right, you're able to take a payment in this case, for this food and drink business, we will edit a menu. You can add an item, ask for donations. And here it will show the last 30 days of your business. This is the screenshot. 
show your total customers, new customers, returning customers, average spending per visit, average visit per customer, positive feedback, and negative feedback. So you'll be able to click through and see the metrics for each of these. But it's built to give you a screenshot of how your business is doing in the last 30 days and also for today. So that is how you get started with Square and you're able to utilize the tools immediately for your business type and how to navigate the dashboard.